Hello guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel Programming Knowledge. In today's Microsoft Excel VBA video, we are going to see that how can we perform some of the operations over a workbook in Microsoft Excel. Now, up till uh, now in the previous videos, we have seen about the various operations that we can perform over the cells or over single sheets in Microsoft Excel. Now, in today's video, we are going to start that how can we perform some of the operations over the workbook in Excel using the VBA code. So the first thing that we need to do is let's see that how can we create a workbook in Microsoft Excel. So to create a workbook, uh, we are going to actually do the same thing that is the creation of the workbook using the macros. But before that, let's see what is the procedure to create a workbook. Uh, once you are in your Excel, you can go to file and then there is this new option. Here you will get a ton of options. That is what you can create. Either you can create a blank workbook or you have got some of the templates from Microsoft Excel which help you to create that kind of a workbook like you can create a billing statement you can create a blood pressure tracker expense report and many more things so if you want to create a new workbook you simply can go to a blank workbook and you would be able to create a new workbook for yourself but in this video we are not going to see that um, what happens if we just create something like from microsoft excel but we are going to look about the visual basic code so let's start um, once you're in uh, Microsoft Excel, you can just simply open uh, your Visual Basic for Applications editor using the shortcut Alt F11. After you have opened it, you can go to the insert menu to insert a new module and let's change its name to create workbook. Uh, make sure to give it a meaningful name so that you can later identify that what is its purpose now let's create a sub procedure also let us name it as create workbook now whatever name you provide your sub procedure is going to be the same name that your macro is going to have now uh, this is what a sub procedure looks like in visual basic so inside the sub procedure we can write any piece of code the piece of code that we need to write is actually uh, adding a workbook or creating a workbook. Since we are talking about a workbook, so the function that we have got in Visual Basic for this purpose is known as workbooks. Now, in the previous videos, we have already seen that we want to access sheets. So we've got a function uh, as worksheets. That is, uh, same naming convention is followed over here as well. Since we are trying to access a workbook, so the name of the function that we have got over here is workbooks. Now, once you have written workbooks, make sure that you write it in the plural form, that is workbooks, put an S at the end. Then you put a dot and you have got all these options. From these options, you can see that many of them are self-descriptive, but what option we are uh, searching for right now is the add option. When you write this add option, what would happen is a new workbook would be added. Now with this step, what will you do is you will create a new workbook for yourself and just the creation of the workbook doesn't mean that your workbook is being saved at a particular location. It is just the creation of the workbook. So this statement would help you to create a workbook. But once your workbook is created using this function or this statement, you need some other piece of code to save that workbook. Okay, so let us execute this. And you can see that we have got a new uh, workbook open. Let us just maximize it so you are able to see it. You can see we have got a new workbook by the name of book one. If you want to uh, cross check it, you can see not three tabs. Are so uh, that's how our workbook is created. Our new workbook by the name book one is now created. Okay, now let us uh, come back to our VBA editor. Here we perform this action of creating a workbook and now um, the book is created. Now what happens if once our book is created and we perform some actions to it. Now once we have performed some actions uh, then we need to just um, actually save it as well. So how can we save our workbook? Okay, so that uh, for that what you can do is you can actually save it while it is being added like once you have added this workbook this statement uh, then 
in this statement only you can save that workbook okay that means uh, either you can just write this statement then the workbook is created like this book one is created right now and if you want to save it you can just go to file and go to the save as option but if you do not want to do that you want to do something or everything using the uh, visual basic code then what you can do is simply uh, save the workbook like this only so how can we work with that for that what do you need to do is just use this workbooks function put a dot and use this add function this is mandatory because we are trying to add a workbook so this function is mandatory but after add you can again put a dot and you can see there is a lot of options over here as well so from these options what option we are going to choose is a save as option now here also you can see there are two options the save option and the save as option the save option can only be used when uh, we are trying to save a workbook that's already present and we have done some changes to it but since we are trying to create a new workbook and then save it so we have to use the save as option in this case okay so let's use the save as option uh, actually save as option is what we are going to use now uh, the save option so save as is going to be our option then uh, you need to put a space now once you put a space you can see that there is a syntax that visual basic has given you and using this syntax you can easily find out that there are these bunch of things which you can provide such as uh, first thing you can provide it as a file name then you can provide a file format a password if it is password protected uh, if only read only if you want to create its backup what is its access mode and many other things but since all these things are given in square brackets which means that all these parameters are optional you can provide either one or more than one or none of these parameters okay so what we are going to provide it with is a file name using this we can provide it with a custom file name and also we can specify the path that way this workbook is going to be saved so we are going to use the file name parameter and we know to use the parameter what uh, thing we need to do is we need to write the name of the parameter so this name of the parameter that is given over here that is in the bold file name you have to write it as it is that is file name uh, the con convention should be same that is f should be capital and n should be small in file name and they should be as a single word then you can put a colon over here and put an equal sign and as you press space you need to provide the path the whole path where this workbook is going to reside and apart from that path you also need to provide the uh, name of this workbook okay so uh, i have a um, path with me so for that path i can just go to file and open so where my sheet vba uh, is present actually so this is my path if you want to go to your path you can open your current worksheet then go to the save as option and go to the browse folder and in this browse folder from here you can just copy the path okay so i have copied my path and this is the same path where i am going to just provide it now instead of excel vba i am going to actually excel vba was the name of my folder so let's just keep it that way excel vba then again put a slash and then you need to provide the name of the workbook with this name your workbook is gonna be saved so let's just save uh, macro created this is going to be the name of my workbook that's macro created and uh, then you can just put a dot and you need to provide its extension the extension default extension for microsoft excel sheets is dot xlxx so xlsx is um, that extension you can provide this extension and that's it uh, so this is how you can create a workbook and save it as well so let's just delete this statement because this is the statement we're going to work on and let's just run it and you can see that a new workbook is created and if you see now its name is not book 2 which should be by convention but its name is as macro created why because as soon as it was created it was also saved in the folder if you go to file and um, you try to open a workbook 
you can go to this browse option and you can see that uh, sheet vba is present and i chose the same location where sheet vba was present uh, for the macro created workbook as well so now macro created workbook is also saved in the same location where this sheet vba was present so now you can see that yes macro created workbook is now saved as well so that's how you can create a workbook and as well as save it uh, using the macro or the visual basic code that's all for the video